There are two main reasons why I cancelled my Shadow PC, the benefits of a personal cloud gaming server, and Shadow's treatment of their customers, including utter refusal to upgrade the atrocious CPU. As for the first main reason, when Shadow PC was bought out by the new company, they decided to nuke their better tiers Ultra and Infinite, then they jacked up the price of the cheapest tier. That left Shadow PC customers that were on the better tiers with a crappy CPU and price about the same as the more expensive tier. And the Shadow PC customers that were on the cheapest tier were left with the exact same hardware, but jacked up price. What's even worse is that when they did this, they didn't even let customers finish out their year contracts of those better, more expensive tiers. The entire point of the year contract was that you aren't allowed to cancel early, but you lock in that monthly price and service for a year and also get it a little bit cheaper for your loyalty. Why were they then allowed to violate those contracts and pull the hardware early? It's my opinion that that was illegal and Shadow PC just hasn't been sued for it, yet. It would have costed them a lot less to allow customers to finish out their contracts for the more expensive tiers than the PR damage from violating those contracts. That is the biggest reason I cancelled my Shadow PC subscription. I just procrastinated actually doing it because I managed to get back on the $12 per month contract before they removed the option to join the cheap tier contract. A secondary reason on the first point is Shadow's utter refusal to upgrade their CPU. It's been an issue long before the chip shortage. And the chip shortage hasn't even prevented them from upgrading CPU since CPUs, motherboards and RAM are still available for around their MSRP price. They just stubbornly don't want to upgrade CPU because they want to do it at the same time as a GPU upgrade, but the GTX 1080 equivalent is still fine, especially with the current market. They absolutely could have done a full overhaul of CPU, RAM and motherboard and left GPU upgrade for when the chip shortage calms down. But they don't want to pay for an upgrade earlier than they need to, especially while a bunch of customers are still locked into a $12 per month price. Additionally, the proposed upgrade sometime this year they mentioned on their Twitch news stream will actually not even replace the base $30 per month tier. When that upgrade finally comes, you'll have to pay even more to get a CPU upgrade. This is in stark contrast to the promise at the time that the new Shadow tier would be the only one to simplify the service. And then with the chip shortage, who knows how much stock they'll be able to get of GPUs for that more expensive upgraded tier, so most people still won't be able to get that CPU upgrade that is artificially tied to GPU scarcity. It's fine to charge more for an upgrade, but when the base $30 tier CPU is so bad that a budget $110 CPU stomps all over it, it needs an upgrade. Now for the second main reason. Basically, with Parsec, or other remote gaming software, I've created my own private cloud gaming server. Think of it like a personal shadow PC server where I control the hardware, upgrades and don't need to worry about an activity timer. For the users, the benefits of owning your own personal cloud gaming server is no monthly cost, or drastically reduced monthly cost if you choose to pay for a premium tier of a streaming client like the $10 per month for Parsec Warp which has 444 color mode and other features. Drastically reduce latency when in your own home, although, in my opinion, the latency of cloud gaming isn't really bad. Zero inactivity timer, you can still set a sleep slash hibernation period on your PC like normal. But that means you'll need physical access to turn it back on or something like a switch bot. Choosing your own hardware specs. You can have a better CPU and more storage space as well as faster storage space. You don't need to wait for the service provider to decide to upgrade if you want an upgrade. Convert a gaming console into a cloud gaming server via a low latency capture card, for example, playing docked mode switch games on your phone on a higher resolution, higher quality screen with controllers that don't drift. Additionally, cloud gaming services have to use carved up server CPUs, so your CPU gaming performance in a cloud gaming PC can never compete with a consumer CPU like the latest budget, yes, budget i3 tier, Intel or AMD CPUs. Plus with a local PC, you can buy storage space for a one-time cost, but with a cloud gaming service, you have to rent that space, and if you want a lot of space, that gets expensive fast. This is assuming they can even provide as much space as you want, I have a 6TB HDD as an example. Server CPUs have worse gaming performance because many core CPUs have to sacrifice clock speed to handle that many cores. Then you add the fact that the consumer CPU can use turbo boost so that it gets better clock speed when it's using fewer cores, but the server CPU has to have turbo boost always set to the all-core turbo. So with cloud PCs, you've got the double whammy of the CPU cores being weaker from the start with reduced clock speed and not being able to turbo boost, making it even worse for gaming. And then you only get a few of those cores per user. So that's a triple whammy for reduced gaming performance. 
Then you add the fact the server CPU shadow is currently carving up for their customers is incredibly old, and you get a situation where the new around $110 quad-core 12th Gen i3 from Intel has greatly more performance. That's not an exaggeration. It's about triple the single-threaded performance and double the multi-threaded performance compared to what you get with Shadow PC. Check out the benchmark on screen for the performance numbers. The link is in the description. What I want to see is Shadow selling their remote gaming client for people to use on their own PCs. I'd be fine with $5 per month or $10 per month to get the same remote gaming client that Shadow uses. Whatever you believe about Shadow PC's customer relations, hardware or price, I think we can all agree that Shadow PC has a great remote gaming streaming client. If Shadow PC were to charge a small monthly fee for the use of their streaming client for people to use on their own PCs, I believe it could be successful. I do like Shadow PC's touch controls on Android much better than Parsec, and Parsec lacks a pinch to zoom feature. Plus having another competitor for Parsec would be good for the consumers overall. Perhaps there could be a free tier with more advanced features like 444 colors or USB over IP requiring subscription to use. Parsec as an example is free but requires a paid tier for 444 color mode and multiple monitors. Shadow is already putting in work and money developing the client, so why not use that investment to expand their audience? Perhaps they could lose customers from customers deciding they'd rather own their own PCs, but they could also gain customers through a cheap, free, or trial introduction to cloud gaming as well as selling their streaming client to customers that can't or won't use their cloud gaming service because they're too far away or their internet is too poor for cloud gaming. In-home streaming doesn't require any internet connection. So I believe it would balance out to be more profitable overall. A new customer for a cloud gaming service has to allocate physical gaming hardware to them. But there are no such requirements for selling the same software client they already have to develop and maintain for their cloud gaming business. So even if they lose customers from their cloud gaming service to their remote gaming client, the latter business model is more profitable per user and has potential to gain much more users. Then there is the possibility of customers discovering cloud gaming through first testing it on their underpowered or older PC and then deciding to rent hardware for that streaming client from Shadow PC. So in conclusion, I was a huge fanboy of Shadow PC, but I cannot overlook how Shadow PC treated their customers and the benefits of owning your own PC. I'd still love to give them money for their streaming client if they'd start selling it, but I'm done with the company otherwise. They did this to themselves by taking away my infinite tier and then jacking up the price of the cheap tier. I would have continued to stick with Shadow PC if they hadn't taken away my infinite tier.